Okay, sup? It's your boy Dark Raikou here with What If Ishii with an experiment part uh four. Wait, is it four? Yeah, part four, Fight Festival. So yeah, it's part four, and the title is gonna be literally called Fight Festival. Now, not the point. Let me begin to just what if. Let me shut the fuck up. And yeah, now we begin into Ishii. Issei is right now on top of a building, kind of looking like Madara, having both of his arms crossed and right now standing on the hill, but he's on a building, so yeah. That's what I want to explain last time, is for some reason my footage somehow cut off, and I just said, fuck it, I'll upload it like that, so yeah. But of course, this is where, well, with that happening, let me begin this is what if, but yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, Issei jumps off the building, literally landing down the ground, cracking the ground itself, mostly the cement underneath him, and starts walking away. Now, of course, this is where, well, he's going to school, having such a sinister grin on his face. This is where, well, he has this such a mad and sinister, this is where, well, like if he's crazy or something, but yeah. Now, that reminds me, I also do have to continue on what if Issei was a joker, and I will continue that on later, and also I will continue also what if Issei was, or had an anti-magic demon with him, so yeah, I will continue those later. But yeah, but at the point, let me begin back into what if. But of course, Issei is getting to school, kind of looking at it with such a sinister, delightful grin, with a kind of little bit of a chuckle coming off, well, coming out of his mouth. This is where, well, he says, it's time. It's finally time for Fight Festival. I've been waiting for two days. This is where he licks his lips and says, this is going to be so delicious. This is where, well, he say walks in. Of course, this is where, well, he's already starting off with a fight. This is where, well, he saw a kind of, well, mostly a pervert, kind of like... Well, not a pervert. It wasn't Masuhiro we Motohama, but it was one of the other perverts that are in the school. Even though, what's it called? Matsui, him, and what's it called? Motohama are called the trio of perverts. There's still other perverts that are not infamous that much, but they're still infamous. And this guy basically has dirty, kind of, like, always, like, he kind of smells really fucking bad most of the time. He has, like, his nails are dirty. This is, uh, I'm gonna just call him Dirty Frank, but yeah, or Dirty Dan. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, not Dirty Dan, but mostly it was a uh, Japanese name, but yeah. But this is where, well, he was kind of like, uh, kind of being weird towards some females. And of course, it worked well. He was kind of already thinking of uh, molesting them. Yes, that's what he was thinking in his head. But before he can even like grab one of the girl's hands, which he managed to, but only scrape their hand. And this is where the girl thought that she was going to get like some kind of virus or something because she got like a little scratch from the guy's like fingernails. Their finger, his fingernails are long as fuck and he didn't cut them. And also they look like they yellow as hell. But of course the guy said, Ugh, who the hell would grab it? This is where he turns around and sees a grayish haired boy with... But of course, one, well, both eyes being golden yellow, or mostly golden brown. This is where Issei says, hey there, dirty, uh, Jeff, I mean, I'm calling him back dirty then. Hey, dirty then. I seem to say you. Seems to like being on the ground, don't you? This is where dirty then said, huh? This is where his face was grabbing and then to smash to the ground without a care in the world. Right now, blood was coming out of his head. This is where, well, Issei chuckles and says, pathetic weakling. This is where, well, he kind of has a little bit of blood in his hand. And, of course, he kind of just wipes into the grass and doesn't care. This is where, well, Issei ignores the girl's looks, which they were just shocked and just shocked, amazed, and dumbfounded. But, yeah. But, of course, Issei is literally walking away without care in the world. This is where, well, Issei was chuckling to himself. First guy down. This is where, well. Now, of course, this is where, well, the school... Mostly the whole school day is, um, not the whole school day, mostly in the morning. The announcements came out, but instead of being a normal Sanji, I forgot his last name, but Sanji usually doing the announcer, it's none other than Sona uh, Shatora. Mostly her kind of fake like, last name and other stuff. This is where, well, if she is the one doing the announcements, because right next to her is none other than Isi. <laughs> and also behind him, well, behind him is no one else, but this is where, well, Sona is kind of mumbling into, well, what's it called? 
some of the announcements. But of course, she's only like talking to Issei and having the, what's it called, her hand into the mic. And this is where, well, Sana says, do we really have to do this? Please, Issei, please, I'm begging you. I don't really want to. This is where Issei whispered into her ear saying, but don't you want to, what's it called, save Rhea's Grimmery from a fried stupid chicken? The same thing you told me last time? This is where, well, Sana says, okay, fine. This is where, well, she kind of announced about fight, uh, fight Festival with such a nervous tone, but yeah. And this is where, well, the announcement was going everywhere. And I mean, it went every single class. Even some of the classes where you can't really send the announcement, but it was just there. Also, people who were kind of ready for Fight Festival had their phones out just for the announcement to come out. Mostly, they were in cause of like other people that had the announcement above them. And of course, some of the other people that didn't have the announcement above them because it's mostly either broken or something, had their phones out just to kind of put the announcement. This is where, well, <clears throat> it was also sent to everyone's, uh, well, what's it called, email, mostly about the Fight Festival and what is happening, the rules and other stuff. There's no rules. Literally, it's a free-for-all. It, well, mostly it's a free-for-all, but some people are going to be grouped in teams. This is where, well, she explains for Masui, uh, mostly Masui's sake. Masui is going to be team up with Katakori to beat the shit out of mostly the out fleets, but mostly Sona doesn't know about that. Morahama's team is going to attack the science kind of group and other groups because, yeah. Now, of course, Sona doesn't know about that, but Issei, he was the one to be announced to be the one to actually start its fight festival. And the reason why he wants to start it is because he doesn't really like perverts. Actually, even though he's a pervert himself, he just doesn't like any guy in general, mostly of their kind of thoughts. Even though he kind of, well, takes what's it called, a mic from Sonam and says, Hello there, you suckers. Fight Festival has begun. And all of you that now know about Fight Festival last week, about the little whispers and talks that I have mentioned to those people, they're all excited for Fight Festival. Now, I'm hoping you didn't really piss off some people, because you see here, well, a lot of you did piss me off. <laughs> uh, this is going to be so fun for me. It's so fun for Masui and Morohama. We've been restraining ourselves from not killing you in an instinct. This is where Issei's voice became dark and deep and malicious in the announcements. This is where everyone gets scared in an instinct. But don't worry. It's not the only, we're not the only ones that literally get kind of attacked or annoyed or kind of just bother most of the time. Or mostly, let's say, didn't pay our debts. This is where some people right now wind their eyes. This is where, well, Issei says, and yes, if you haven't paid your debts, that means the debt collector is going to come after you and chase you down. Now, please do not leave the school premises. Actually, you can't because we have some special people out there. Stopping you at any time with gunpoint. This is where Issei just mentioned the gunpoint as a lie. But this is where, well, Issei wanted to just trick them enough so they wouldn't run away. This is where Issei says, so don't run away unless you want to get shot in the head and die. This is where Issei just calculating to the freaking microphone. And this is where, well, everyone that hears the, what's it called, announcements, were kind of just having shivers down his, their, well, mostly spines. Even Masu and Motor Hummer did get the same, even though they they know about the fight fest, but it's just EC laughter is insane in my knuckle. This is what well Dofi is saying, yeah, he's a crazy son of a bitch, but still I Yep, I hope everyone's got scared from that. This is what well Category is sweat chopping being next to oh, what's it called Masui. God damn your leader your leader's got them scary as hell. This is where well the door behind Issei opens and there's another Edward and this is where Edward says, Damn, you gotta be scary or something like that? Oh yeah, I do. That also reminds me. Edward, uh, what was your name? <laughs> name? This is where Issei looks at Edward. <sighs> Edward says, Edward Strauss. Edward Strauss is going to help me beat the shit out of any guy. So, who wants to fight? And this is where Issei right now has a cheerful tone like if he was talking about the fucking weather. But he's not. This is where, well... Everyone that's in the school is right now scared shitless right now. They they are wondering who they piss off. But this is where, well, everyone is now trying to be on guard. This is where Issei says, 
Let's begin Fight Festival. I should also mention before I go on, Fight Festival is going to take five days. So don't worry. If you want revenge, you're gonna have to do it in five days, Monday through Friday. Then after that, it's no longer a fight festival. So sad. I'm gonna try to make it such a festival for the school. This is where, well, he has like toys. Well, what's it called? Tears of sadness coming down from his like, uh, mostly like eye. Kind of looking at Soda, trying to plead for her. And this is where she's gonna just shake her head no. <laughs> this is where, well, Issei grumbles and says, fine. This is where, well, Issei just has such a sinister grin and says, well, let's begin and start this fight festival. No rules. This is where, well, Issei says, rule number one. There is, well, no killing. Rule number two is, there's no rules. So rule number one is out of the question. You can go murder. Go kill freely. Now, let's begin. This is where, well, Issei says, let's start a rumble. This is where, well, Issei was just too cheerful and just happy just to start this whole freaking massacre. This is where everyone is just sweat dropping. Even those who were supernatural were kind of just sweat dropping. How does Sona Sifri decide to let Issei Hyoto start a fight festival in the fucking school and murder is allowed? <laughs> Literally, Issei says, number one rule, no killing. Number two rule, no rules. So number one is out of the question. So this is where, well, everyone is just scared right now, shitless. This is where, well, Issei is cackling like a madman. This is where Sona glares at him and says, what the fuck? I thought I... <clears throat> That's where Issei says, come on, it's not that bad. I won't kill people. It's not like to say, like, the others won't do the same. They won't kill them. I don't think so. Actually, how pissed is Masui and Katakori when their shit got stomped by either the soccer team and, the, well, the football team? Mm. I don't know, but they're probably going to be in a hospital. So, Sona, you're going to be paying for all their hospital bills, got it? This is where Sona say, no! This is where Issei then whispered into her ear, saying... Okay, well, if you're not going to pay for their hospital bill, then make Rias do it. You know, since I'm helping her for her little stupid fried chicken problem, how about this? I'll let you, uh, I will help her, but in one condition. Well, mostly a lot of condition. Fight Festival will still be a thing later on if I want to start it back up again. And if I manage to kill and murder the fried chicken, you, uh, you're just going to... Tell Rias that she's paying for all of it. This will work, well. So no switch off with this work, well. She didn't think so about it, so fine. This is where, well, Issei grins and says, good to know. This is where Issei pats her in the head. This is where she has a little tint of pink in her face. Because she never expected Issei to just pat her in the head. Mostly, like, touch her in the head and that's all. This is where Issei then gets his hand off of her. And this is where Issei says, well, let's begin fight festival. This is going to be fun as hell. This is where, well, Issei puts on a mask, like a face mask, and says, let's start this. This is where, well, Etra says, okay, Kakashi had to get what the hell. <laughs> this is where Issei says, shut the hell up. Let's just start. This is where, well, we go into the whole day. The whole day has been total chaos. Most of the guys are trying to fight against Edward and Issei, but Issei right now clocks someone in the head by kind of sidekicking them in the head and right now knocking them down to the ground. Think of it like Mikey from what's it called Tokyo Revenger. But yeah, I also really got to watch that anime because, well, I didn't really watch the anime because of the main character, but mostly the side characters are always cool as hell. But yeah. But this is what, well, mostly Edward's right now kind of punching one person in the face and then kicking another person in the legs, kind of making them unable to walk that well. And this is where Issei kind of kicks him right in the stomach to knock him out fully. This is where Issei and Edward basically tag teaming the shit out of most of the guys who are literally trying to pick a fight with Issei and Edward. Which, most of the guys are picking a fight with Issei is because he used to be an ex-pervert that probably pervert on their, on their girlfriends. But that was never a thing because the girls are only lying to the guys. Uh, but the guys are getting their asses beat without a second thought. Issei is right now not using any abilities. Not even using the shard guns in his eyes. He's just fucking talented in fighting skills. He's using these fucking hands. This is where, well, 
Issei right now kind of looks at one guy who is rushing at him because this is like big one guy that's trying to tackle Issei down. It's a pervert guy. It's a well, no, not another pervert guy. Mostly another pervert. But he's not another infamous, but he's like a sumo wrestler and he's rushing Issei. And this is where Issei kind of sees this and grins. This is where Issei appears right in front of him, punching him in the stomach. This is where the guy felt like he just got punched in the ribs so hard. He wanted eyes. He wasn't expecting that his like fat was going to be useless against Issei. Issei then twist his like hand that was in his stomach, just twisting it, hurting this guy even more. This is where Issei says, Ooh, don't get too cocky there. Issei said with such a maniacal grin in such an evilish tone. This is where Issei says, Don't get too cocky there. Even if you are a sumo wrestler, you're still weaker than me. Issei pushes him away. After punching him, he pushes this guy away. This is where, well, some of the guys that were standing behind this dude right now scream and realize they're about to be crushed, which it literally got crushed. Now, the level of fat this guy was is, oh, hell no. Nah. Now, if you know what, they, what I'm talking about, mostly, um, if you have ever watched, uh, what's it called, mostly comedy shows? Yeah, comedy shows and about a person named Gravia, or, yeah, G Gabriel, mostly a guy who kind of makes jokes of Mexican, he's like the king of Mexicans. There, he talks about like the, what's it called, six levels of fat, or mostly there are five, but there were six now. And the last one is called, oh hell no, <laughs> but yeah. But of course, that's how I'm just going to base it off, but yeah. <clears throat> this is where Issei then looks at some of the other guys. They're trying to run away, but Issei chased after them, saying, oh no you don't. This is where, well, he was about to grab one of the guys in the head, but until that guy literally got kicked in the face so hard, that this guy literally fell down to the ground bleeding from his like mouth. This is where Issei noticed who exactly kicked him. And it's none other than Dofi. This is where Issei lands down on the ground. And says, Arr. You literally. <sighs> I should have known that you were going to steal one of my fucking praise. This is where. Well Dofi says. That was because of debt collection. Now if you don't mind me. I'm taking this guy's teeth that fell on the ground. They're still worth something when I sell them in the black market. Whatever, go ahead and do whatever. This is where it will. Issei says, give me just a list of your bounty hunts. And then I'll just point them out and tell you where they'll be at. Are you sure you're not going to kill them and actually take their whatever and sell them off? This is where it will. Issei says, no, I'm not. Just give me. This is where it will. Dofi, he kind of sends a list on his phone towards Issei. And this is where it will. Issei kind of like checks on his phone. Right now sees all the lists and sees the pictures and other stuff. Of who exactly he's looking for or kind of avoiding most of the time. This is what well he says, says whatever. This is what well he says starts walking away and this is where Dofi says make sure to call me because I am not looking for these motherfuckers entirely. Can't you just sense him? This is where he say kind of said with such a tone of boredom. This is where Dofi says you know that we couldn't use our powers. Well, invisibility powers, mostly powers that aren't being shown most of the time. Sensory is allowed, of course. We don't want little mice to run away and hide forever. Do we want that? Dofi chuckles and says, <laughs> You're such a sinister monster, aren't you? Such a sinister bastard, aren't you? That's where Issei says, says, Of course I'm sinister. Do you think I will ever kind of not be sinister. A guy was about to attack Issei from the back, and this is where, well, mostly with a chair, and this is where Issei turns back around right now, kicks this guy in the, mostly does a back kick into this guy's stomach, and the guy right now falls over, oh, oh, right now gargling some bubbles out of his mouth. This is where, well, don't forget, ooh, you might have hit him in somewhere that's needed in his lungs or something. I don't give a damn if I killed him. Besides, they do not hear my first rule, and then my second rule. Now the second rule is kind of fucked up, though he said. Just so where, well, even it's more fucked up for what I'm planning to do, but still. Oh, shut the hell up. Besides, I'm not going to pay for half of these idiots' medical bills. That's not my job. Oh no, that's not my job at all. You see where Issei is grinning like a madman. Like if he was an actual devil. You see where, well... Dofi says, I'm still wondering who is more of a devil, you or the actual devils that are in the school. Oh, don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about anything. 
Now, if you don't mind, I should be going. This is where Issa runs off. And this is where Dofi scoffs and says, whatever. He kind of walks off to kind of see where to find his, and now, what's it called? Debt collectors. Mostly his debt collectors. Mostly he's going to go find them and take whatever they have, money, or whatever the hell they have to pay off their debts. But yeah. This is where, well, Issei is running around, kind of sliding around, what's it called, the school hallways. Literally, he's just sliding. We, 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 we. Yeah, he's kind of using a little bit of water on his feet, like water chocolate, to literally slide around. This is where, well, he was about to get punched in the face by a guy, but this is where he managed to slide underneath by kind of putting both of his knees down and sliding. And this is where, when he turns around, he fucking grabs the guy from the face and smash him to the wall. This is where he doesn't care. He gets some blood on him, but this is where he kind of just scoffs and says, Perfect bitch. This is where, well, he kind of drops the guy on the ground. This is where he turns down the hallway. It's none other than, what's it called, Kiba having to dodge some attacks from some of the guys. This is where, well, they say, get him. Besides a fight festival free for all. If we manage to knock out the prey boy, he's not going to be pretty anymore. This is where he says, says Kiba, move. This is where Kiba says, huh? This is where Issei has a soccer ball. And of course, the reason why he has a soccer ball is because he's kind of near a, a closet that has a soccer ball. And this is where, well, he grins because he remember watching this anime that he kind of liked. What kind of? It was called Blue Lock. And this is where he grins. And this is where he kicks his soccer ball so hard. The soccer ball smashes into one dude, then bounces off and smashes into another one, and then smashes into the last guy. This is where, well, almost like three of them. This is where two of them just wind their eyes. This is where he says, oh, it seems I committed murder with a soccer ball. Quite interesting. It seems that like you two, wait a minute, you two look familiar as hell. He pulls up his list and this is where he says, ah, Saiyan and Sean. That's your names, right? Well, I should call the debt collector because you two are needing to pay some debts. Holy shit, you, you really, you really screw yourselves over, didn't you? This is where both of them wind their eyes. And this is where Issei calls on Dofi and Dofi say, where, where are they? This is where, well, this is Ace. You don't know, you don't even know who I'm calling about. It's Sean and Cyan. This is where Dofi says, where the hell are you? Uh, in D hallway. This is where, well, Dofi says, I'm in E hallway. I'm coming! He's, he hangs up and runs straight towards Issei. This is where Issei says, You better start running now because the deck collector is about to get here in only like a couple of sec. This is where Duffy says, Come here, you little shit! I'm gonna right now take whatever you have. I'm going to sell your damn organs. I'm going to definitely pay off your damn debts from me. This is where both of them right now scream and running. This is where Issei's chuckling. See? <laughs> this is so funny. Just see where Issei kind of glances Kiba and says, So, devil, why aren't you fighting? Aren't you supposed to kick the shit of them? This is a fight festival. There's no rules of not hurting them. Your master rules doesn't actually apply to you. So I suggest you start fighting, or you're going to lose that pretty face in an instant. This is where Kiba kind of right now looks at him. Right now with cackling eyes, and this is where Issei says, Oh, and please stop staring at me. I'm not into guys. So I reject your proposition if you're gay. This is where Kiba would say, uh, uh, I'm not actually. Uh, this is where, well, he says, say, still, I'm not gay. Go go ask someone else. I'm not into that shit. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm going off to beat the shit of more perverts. <laughs> this is where, well, we go into, well, mostly Issei ran, runs off into I, I hallway, but yeah. Now, of course, he will go into the classroom, but he knows that a lot of people are probably already outside well, outside from rooms. So, of course, he's mostly in the hallways, but yeah. We will go into rooms later, but right now, he's right now trying to massacre those that are in the hallways. And not trying to get hit at the same time, because if he gets hit, then uh, that date with Junko will kind of be off. Of course, he doesn't really know why he's going out with Junko, though, but whatever. Then again, he's trying to think, but this is where he almost got hit in the face, but this is where he fucking kicks someone in the side of the head. Mostly upper kick in the side of the head. Right now, knocking the man out. But yeah, this is where, well, he says, says, weakly. 
But of course, we go into mostly Matsui and Katagori kind of fighting as the football and soccer team. This is where, well, Katagori says, it seems it's your, well, it seems it's your death, your lucky death days, because I'm going to murder all of you for crushing my donuts. Matsui cracks his fingers and says, and I'm going to definitely fuck up the football players. This is where, well, they go into certain rooms because they kind of call upon a good friend of them. Mostly between, mostly mutual friend, but of course, since even though they're a mutual friend, they're not really going to be attacked. But of course, this is where, well, mostly this person just kind of hacked the whole system of the school. And of course, he is in kind of like this chat room, mostly in a, what's it called, message room. And what's it called, on the phone and other thing like a messenger, uh, mostly group. There's a lot of people kind of question in certain people to find for what's it called well mostly to be found by the hacker the hacker is known as crypto and of course that's mostly a good friend for isek but of course he doesn't mind helping those who will pay him to find certain people so of course when fight festival happened he is getting just bank on how much money he's getting paid every time someone asks to search for this person, search for that person, search for this person, search for that person. People that are usually at the house or something or sick and other stuff, they they are now uh, they are not allowed to kind of send like home address or yeah. But of course, it worked well. He basically just pinpoints those in the school, but yeah, and he's basically getting big. But the most bank he ever had is finding the football squad, mostly the football players around the school, and of course the soccer players, by none other than Katakori and Matsui. Now, of course, Katakori literally paid for, well, both of them, but yeah, and he, Katakori is pretty fucking rich. But this is where, well, right now, Crypto found all of them and gave them the list. This is where, well, Moss would bust through a room without a care in the world. Like, the door kind of hinges, almost flies off in an instant. And this is where, well, he finds, like, five football players and two soccer players. And this is where Moss would say, hey, Katakori, there's two soccer players here. This is where Katakori says, where? I'm going to fuck them up. This is where, well, the soccer players right now are just wind their eyes when Katakori comes out from the door and right now looks at them with murderous glare. His eyes are right now shining red. This is where Matsui opened one of his eyes, which I should mention, Matsui never does open his eyes. But when he does open both of his eyes, he shows a scarlet red, uh, well, mostly a scarlet ruby red eye in one of them. Because he had, he's actually kind of bilingual, or whatever the hell it's called, where you have two different colored eyes. But his right eye is mostly that color, and his left eye is none other than the color of, well... And his other eye is none other than a dark amethyst color, a dark purple amethyst color. This is where, well, everyone wanted their eyes, and this is where, well, Masui rushes straight towards the football squad. And the football squad, they try to punch at Masui, but Masui grabs one of them from the arms, twisting it and breaking it off, and then punching this guy in the freaking chin, knocking his ass out, pushing him into the freaking desk. This is where Masui says, oh, no, you don't you dare do something like that. I'm going to kill you bastards. This is where, well, the football squad still try to get, uh, go against uh, one mostly Masui. And Masui right now punches one in the face, knocking his, like, lights out. And then another one tried to punch him in the stomach, which they managed to hit Masui. But Masui managed to grab that arm and right now snap it. The guy screams in an instant. But this is where he gets his mouth, mostly his jaw, grabbed by Masui. And Masui smashes him to the fucking table without a care in the world. Of course, letting his hand go after smashing the guy into what's it called, the table. Before, like into it but yeah just so wouldn't bite his like fingers off but yeah this is where another person right now tried to rush at him mostly another person from the football squad with a table and this is where Masui grabs that shit and throws it back into the person smashing it into his like stomach knocking him out this is where well someone well from the of course there's still uh, still a couple of football squad members mostly one more and this guy pulls out a knife and rushes straight towards Masui he right now swings the knife randomly and trying to cut Masui. Masui is only dodging backwards, but he managed to kind of hit a desk, which his shirt managed to get cut in a vertical slash. And of course, this is where, well, when he, well, mostly his uniform slash uh, shirt managed to be cut kind of horizontal. This is where, well, it reveals some of his, what's it called, well, mostly his stomach. This is where Masui gets annoyed and punches this guy in the heart, so hard in the face, knocking his teeth out. 
right now knocking his whole life out. This so went well. Masui kind of grits his teeth because he has a little bit of blood appearing on his like, stomach. But what most of the girls see is mostly Masui is pretty fucking rip underneath his was it called clothes. This went well. He then turns to see what's it called Katakori, and Katakori already massacred the what's it called. These soccer players pretty beat, pretty much beat the shit of them with his leather freaking uh, leather gloves. But yeah, this is where well, category says I'm going off to go find more of the soccer players. This is where Masui says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I'm just gonna get something. This is where well, I should mention they're right now in the science classroom, and this is where well, Masui goes up to a dispel a uh, disposer of like napkins and other stuff. Like a napkin, well not a napkin machine, mostly like a towel, uh, paper towel machine. And this is where he grabs some of it, gets some of the water because there's a water sink and other stuff. And this is where he gets it, puts it in his like stomach, They're right now cleaning up the blood and other stuff. And this is where, well, he kind of just tries to suppress the blood, but by just his will. And of course he manages to stop it, but yeah. This is where, right now, Masui's right now spitting a little bit of just spit. And this is where, well, he says, I almost got fucking caught lacking. Uh, so annoying. This is where, well, he hates how these, like, what's it called, a shirt and also his, like, uniform does kind of restrain him from movements and other stuff. So, of course, what he does is kind of take off, like, his already cut, what's it called, like, uniform and shirt, but yeah. And, of course, this is where, well, he is kind of just a rip. Now, of course, some of the girls are in there, kind of. This is where, well, Matsui is kind of just, like, taking off his stuff, and, and this is where, well, the girls are right now having hearts in their eyes, and this is where they might be bleeding a little bit from their nose. This is where, well, Mosby turns around, and of course, this is where he kind of just calls him pervert. This is where all of them just kind of glare at him. And this is where, well, Mosby says, Let's stop looking at me. What the hell? Just because I don't have a shirt on, what the hell are you all looking at? Ugh. This is where, well, he kind of just did the same kind of noise of how girls kind of call him ill, but yeah. This is where, well, the girls just glare at him even more and this is where, well, Masui says, stop looking at me, it's so creepy. This is where, well, he's just kind of teasing them because they always kind of annoyed him so much, so yeah. This is where Masui says, well, other than that, see ya. This is where, well, Masui kind of, before leaving, the guy that was kind of, still the guy that kind of cut him a little bit, he kind of goes up, uh, goes up to him, grabs his arm, and right now twists him enough to break it and then kick him right in the face, stop his face in. This is where Masui says, don't you ever dare use a knife like that again, or I'll use it against you and stab one of your eyes out. You hear me, bastard? This is where, oh, well, the guy is right now. Uh, yeah, he can't, like, form any words. But we go into, well, the next person. Well, mostly we go into Murahama. Murahama is now at the science room, and the science people, or mostly not science people, mostly does fake scientists, he likes to call them, are kind of trying to fight back against uh, Masui. Masui grabs one of the chemicals. Now, of course, he adds some chemicals a little bit into this like small little uh, kind of glass vase. And of course, where well, he adds some chemicals. It was bubbling kind of purple, and this is where he smashed it upon some people. This is where the liquid smashes into their eyes right now, making them hurt really bad, and of course, having itchy, well, itching their eyes. And this is where Masui then punch him in the face, saying, "Fucking die, you bastards." This is where, well, all the others are kind of, are kind of fighting against some of the scientists people. This is where Frank, yeah, Frankie, or not Frank, mostly Frank is right now knocking some people out. His fists actually do hurt a lot. This is where, well, his girlfriend, mostly Medusa, is easily being able to beat the shit out of the female side, but yeah. This is where, well, someone actually appears, and of course, this is where, well, actually two people appear. And it's none other than what Masui always fears a lot. A girl with kind of blackish hair, kind of violet eyes, and of course wearing glasses. Well, mostly her hair is kind of short black. And this is where, well, she's wearing a scientist outfit, mostly like a scientist white coat outfit. But underneath that is mostly if she's kind of just wearing like her underwear most of the time, or mostly it could be just a bikini, but it's mostly eh, but yeah. So, of course, this person has not violet eyes or dark red eyes. And this is where she has glasses. And this is where she says, Morahama. This is where, well, another girl does scream out Morahama's name. And, of course, this girl has long white hair. Of course, bluish, like, kind of lightish, 
bluish eyes. One kind of like she's not wearing glasses, but uh, a kind of like glass. What is it called? Mayanako or whatever. And of course, is where well, she has kind of pale skin and is wearing kind of a scientist outfit. And uh, underneath is kind of these fancy was well, a fancy kind of shirt that she wears. And of course, like this blue kind of blouse. But yeah, not blue pants, but mostly a blue bow, uh, blouse or skirt or whatever. And of course, is where she's wearing like long kind of uh, mostly like long socks with black shoes but yeah blast truck uh bro dressing shoes with sally kind of wearing black boots but yeah this is where well they kind of both kind of scream out what a hummus name and of course the where well the white haired girl kind of has this knife with a little bit of blood and of course sally is kind of having also a little bit of blood this is where well they both scream motohama's name and of course rush up to motohama and jumps on this is where motohama like wait you two no this is where, well, he has some chemicals on his hand, which they both drop in an instant, and luckily it didn't splat on him. And of course, it did melt the ground a little bit. This is where, I'm almost like, are you too insane? Did you not even know what I was holding? This is where, well, they didn't care. And this is where they both have now hearts in their eyes and says, didn't you tell us that you were going to help us reproduce? This is where, oh, I'm almost like, oh, no, but, uh, uh, when did I ever say that? Oh, don't lie to us. We have a contract here, and we have footage that you say you were going to help us. This is where, well, right now next to Morahama is, well, mostly, um, well, behind Frank is none other than, what's it called, not Frank, mostly behind, uh, Matsu, uh, not Matsu, Morahama is Frank, Madusa, uh, Caesar, and also Urahara. This is where Urahara says, well, we should probably go in. Well, before I be we be going, I'll be taking some of this little experiments, what they were doing. He's just taking some of them, putting them into a portal. Mostly, not a portal, into a rift, but yeah. This is where Caesar is right now also using his kind of gas to just store in his body, but yeah. This is where, well, Frank does the same, and Medusa is just helping, but yeah. This is where, well, Marahama says, aren't you guys going to help me? They are going to literally freaking army, aren't they? This is where they both pouted at what they call Morahama and say, so we're not going to argue. You're going to help us reproduce. We never said anything about the other stuff. Unless R means reproduce. So, didn't he just tell us? This is where, well, they both have really hearts in their eyes. And this is where Morahama's getting creeped out and says, guys, help. Guys, help. Help. Fuck you, Frank. Why did you call them? This is where, well, Frank says, you say you need a more female population to help us defeat the science squad, since the science squad did have females, but it looks like my dear girlfriend managed to defeat them. This is where, well, Frank says, besides, you do need to lose her, what's it called, V-card. We're scientists, and we might never be able to, but at least the leader of the science group should be able to lose it. With two kind of decently beautiful girls, they're not beautiful as my girlfriend, but still, I'm just saying, this is where, well, what I'm say, fuck you, Frank. Frank, no, please, help, help. This is a fight festival, not a, not a, what's it called, reproduce principle. Please help me. This is where Frank says, bye. We're going to turn off the light for you guys, so see ya. This is where, well, what I'm going to say, no, you assholes, no. This is where, well, both of the girls are kind of leaning in closer and closer, and this is where what I'm say, oh, for fuck's sakes. Fine, I'll help you. This is where, well, Murahama decides to take Dominic, but yeah, we will skip that, but we don't get it. This is where, well. Uh, we go into Matsui and Katakori beating the shit out of most of, like, all the football and soccer players. This is where sending them to the hospital. Now, of course, this is where Morahama is shown to be ripped and much more stronger than some uh, some of the football squad members, which they ever regret they were pissing off uh, Matsui. Now, of course, Katakori, on the other hand, the soccer players aren't standing zero fucking chance. And they're getting their asses beat, but yeah. Now, we go into Issei right now, bringing like a madman. It's almost 7th hour in a of course, school is about to end, and this is where Issei right now magic kicks someone in the head so hard, kind of knocking their lights out. This is where Issei grins as a pathetic bastard. This is where, well, Issei was about to get hit, but this is where someone kind of like throws something pretty hard into the person's head, knocking them out. This is where, well, he turns to the side and sees Edward holding the book. This is where Edward's chuckling, saying, Huh, you almost was about to lose your kind of date problem. This is where Issei said, Ugh. Well, I haven't seen Junko in a while, so I'm guessing she didn't came. This is where, well, someone says, didn't come who? This is where, well, 
Issei turns around and sees none other than Junko. And of course, she's wearing kind of the school uniform, but it's a little bit different. It's mostly like her own kind of design. She's wearing a red skirt, and of course, it's pretty not that long, the red skirt. And of course, they wear, well, she's wearing black boots, and of course, a black kind of like button up shirt that has a tie, but yeah, a bow tie. And this is where, well, she kind of grins at, was it called Issei? Because Issei is looking at her, and of course, having a tint of pink. But of course, looking at her kind of like chest area. Even though he's not a pervert, he just can't stop looking at it and glancing at it a little bit. This is where, well, he kind of looks away and says, uh, you're here, I guess. This is where Junko says, of course, I'm going to be here. You think I would miss this, uh, what's it called, uh, week? Hell no, I'm not missing this week. What is it where, well, he says, what are you wearing exactly? Huh? I thought there was no rules, so of course I was being able to wear anything. This is where, well, uh, he says it. <clears throat> You're kind of right. Shit, why am I wearing this anyway? Is there much, uh, well, Isaac kind of looks down and says, why am I wearing this anyway? Uh, I hate these clothing. They're so tight. You can barely move half the time. And Tor says, that is true. Well, tomorrow we kind of now have, now knowing that we don't really wear a uniform, right? Yep. Okay, let's go wild for tomorrow then. Now it's already over. The bell rings and a bunch of people are managing to get out of their rooms. Out of the, what's it called? Rooms. They weren't really attacked most of the time, but they were scared shitless. This is where, well, Dofi grins or like looks out one person and narrowed their, well, he narrowed his eyes and this is where, well, Dofi said under his breath, you lucky motherfucker. You're so lucky. The others that didn't manage to get catch. Don't worry, tomorrow's another day. You are not going to escape anytime soon. The guy is right now pissing pants, but walking away. But yeah, this is where he's thinking of not coming tomorrow. This is where, well, Issei announcing the inner comp. Oh, and also, if you don't come tomorrow and you are trying to hide out at your house, don't worry. We know where you live. Or, well, I can always ask a hacker to find your place. And, uh, send someone over there to take good care of you. So you better come tomorrow, or your parents are going to pay the price. He says, says such a maniacal grin. This is where everyone is right now scared. This is where, well, they don't want to be in the hospital, but of course, this is where Issei is really giving them no choice. This is where Issei kind of gets out of the intercom. And of course, this is where, well, he's just kind of laughing and grinning. He then opens the door and sees none other than Rhea Skrimmery. Rhea says, we need to talk, Issei Hiro. Issei walks past and says, no thanks. This is where Rhea is right now sent a destruction magic at Issei, but Issei destroys the destruction magic with darkness in his hand. This is where Issei grins and says, like I said, bitch, we're not talking. This is all for you. This is where, well, Rhea says, that's the problem. What do you mean this is all for me? You even told Kiba that this is all for me. What do you mean? That I like seeing people get hurt? Is that the reason why you're doing this? That the reason that I might fall in love with you if you hurt people? <laughs> Issei laughs and says, oh my god. You're, you're, I thought you would be smarter than this. It seems that you're not. You have a one minus set. I'm doing this because... Well, I can't tell you. Only me and the Sifri know about why I'm doing this for you. Don't worry. Besides, all you gotta know is this is going to help against your marriage contract. Don't worry, Rhea's Grimmery. I'll help you with your marriage contract. Don't worry, or mostly it's going to help your marriage contract. So, all you gotta know is after the end of this week, you're going to be in the house, just say. Uh, I can't spoil any of that. Well, who knows what will happen to you. Will you be attacked? Will you not be attacked? Or whatever. I should be going then. This is where Issa turns into darkness and disappears. Mostly melting into the ground and disappearing. This is where Rhea's glares at the ground and says, Damn it, you asshole. This is where, well... Issei grins and managed to get out of the school. Issei says, well, it's time for me to go home. Oh. Oh. 
<sighs> this is where, well, he sees Katakori and what's it called? Matsui and Matsui says, Ah, oh, damn it, I almost managed to grab that last bastard. I would have crushed his head. Katakori says, I mean, you have one more, well, you have four more days to find him. Better not be running like a little rat when I find him tomorrow. This is where he says, Yo, Katakori, Matsui, how was the day? This is where, well, uh, Katakori says, Pretty damn fun and releasing lots of stress. It was actually pretty fun. This is where Matsui says, Also fun, but damn, I managed. Uh, last minute they got saved. Jackass, damn it. He just says, you have four days, you're, you're good. This is where most of he says, yeah, but I want to do it today. Whatever. This is where, well, he says, has anyone seen Motohama anywhere? Motohama is kind of, uh, he then coughed behind Matsui, or not Matsui, Isai, and this is where Isai turns around and says, what the fuck happened to you? You look like you went into warfare. What the hell? Matsui didn't even category comment saying, damn, what the fuck? Were you fighting against some raccoon? Did you fight against like some supernatural? This where uh, <coughs> this is where you said, "Did you fight against two cats or what the hell happened to your face? What what happened to you entirely?" This is where well they're actually worried about their friend. This is where well <coughs> um um my says, "Uh, you can say that two cats kind of scratched me and uh, hurt me really bad, but then again, I might have managed to take them out in a very complex way." This is where they look at him and say, what do you mean complex way? This is where two girls up here behind what's it called Motohama, putting their arms right into his shoulder and having them also in the back and saying, well, he's talking about us. The two girls seem to be pretty ravaged up also. This is where, well, Issei says, oh, this is where, well, uh, but, uh, well, not Motohama. Mostly Matsui and Katakori kind of say, oh, this is where Issei says, huh? What are you talk this is where well must be uh must we kinda of whisper into his ear what happened. This is where uh he says oh oh up uh, I don't need to hear about your I don't wanna hear about that. So I'm good. I'm just gonna walk over here, okay? Good luck with that. This is where well Motohama says, Yeah. Uh this is where Motohama feels so tired. This is where the two girls are just grinning and saying, Oh come on, Motohama, don't be too tired. We're still having, we still need a lot of fun and testing. This is where, well, what am I saying? Oh, I'm too tired. Can we do this tomorrow, please? Fine. This is where, well, they still managed to drag Motohama to his house, but yeah. This is where, well, he says, just kind of has a little tint of red in his face and says, that, that went well for a lot of people. This is where, well, he was kind of thinking about this in his head, and this is where, well, he then looks up. And sees a man with a white coat. Now, it isn't none of the scientists that he knows. Mostly none of the scientists kind of mutual friends or just Masu or Motohama. But this person has the scientist coat, but it's kind of a darker gray. Of course, a black kind of t-shirt. And of course, well, he has black pants. And of course, wearing what's called black shoes. Doesn't wear, well, he has dark brown hair. Or mostly it looks to be dark. Silverish gray hair. His eyes seem to be having goldenish brown. And of course, this is where Issei seems confused. But this is where when he kind of looked closer, he says, Wait a minute. You seem familiar. This is where when he, Issei kind of said that out loud, the person says, Hmm? Oh. Who are you, kid? This is where oh, Issei says, Oh, sorry. I, you kind of look familiar. Sorry. Issei walks away, but yeah. But, of course, not dark so grayish hair. He had dark brown hair, but this is where, well, mostly Issei walks away kind of confused, but he gets back home, but yeah. The person uh, which was walking behind Issei kind of grinned a little bit and said, so, he thinks in his head, so, it seems that you've grown a lot. And I have, well, it seems that the power, and it seems that you have also grown a lot, Issei-kun. Really a lot, my child. Huh. Well, in the near future, I will keep tabs on you to see if you will awaken one day fully. To see where, well, he then disappears into the shadows and never been able to see us again. Never been been seen again. But yeah. But we go into Isa going home and going to relax and sleeping. But yeah. This is where, well, 
A red magic circle appears in an instant. This is where, well, it's none other than Rias, and Rias says, Take me. This is where he says, Oh, hell no, wait. No, no, no. I'm not doing this. Uh, this I am not Murahama. I am not being taken advantage for this shit. This is where, well, you see right now, activate this magic, which, not his magic, most of his abilities. So one of his eyes turns to red, and the other one turns into the purple Renegon. This is where he says, Oh, mighty. This is where a blue magic circle appears, and this is where, well, it's none other than Gracefy, and Gracefy says, Lady Rias, you must be coming along with me. This is where Rias pouted and says, fine. This is where he says, seems fucking confused and says, what the fuck? Uh, the only reason she said take me is probably that that fried chicken is going to ruin my fucking fight festival. Damn it! Ah, uh, fuck it. Oh, I just ask the others for murder tomorrow. This is where, well, he then falls asleep and says, I'll do it tomorrow. Fuck it. This is where, well, other than that, I'm going to leave it off here for part four of this what if, but yeah, fight festival. Wait, yeah. But other than that, see you Have a nice day. Other than that, bye, and yeah, see you